Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I have this makeup tutorial for you guys. It's super smoky, super warm, and I really love it. I hope you guys too. Let's go ahead and get started. First, I started out with my Becca Aqua Luminous Foundation and filled in my brows with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in the shade Dark Brown. Next, I'm just going in with this light peachy shade from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette, and I'm just taking that on a Sigma E40, and I'm lightly blending that into my crease, and this is going to act as our transition shade. Going into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette, I'm going to pick up the shade Burnt Orange on the same brush, and I'm just going to run that through my crease to add some depth. Next, I'm going to be picking up the shade Real Gar, and I'm going to be using that on the brush that came with this palette. And I'm just going to blend that onto the outer corner and into the crease. And this is where we're really going to start building a lot of depth and a lot of warmth. Going back to the E40 that we originally used, I'm just going to go ahead and blend everything out so there are no harsh lines and everything is nice and diffused. 217 I'm gonna pick up the shade red ochre and I'm just going to blend this the same place that I put real gar so on the outer corners and into the crease and then I'm just gonna go back with the e40 and the other brush we used to apply real gar and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend all that out Next on a flat shader brush, I'm going to dip into my Morphe 35K palette and pick up this gold shade and I'm just going to apply this to the lid. I love the look without adding the black, but I did want it to be a lot deeper and a lot smokier, so I went ahead and just took the matte black shade from the Kat Von D shade in my eye palette, and I just applied that to the outer corners of the eye and blended it out with a MAC 217 and a little bit of red ochre. I applied NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Chantilly under my eyes as well as other parts of my face just to balance out the brightness and then I went ahead and I pounced everything out with a damp beauty blender. I also went ahead and applied falsies before I did my concealer and these are Salon Perfect 615s. Ignore how dirty mine is, but I'm going to go in with my Airspun Loose Translucent Setting Powder and I'm just going to use this to set under my eyes as well as anywhere else that I applied the concealer or I feel like my face just needs to be set. I'm now starting to work on the lower lash line. So basically all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take every matte shadow. So I'm gonna use every shadow besides the black and the gold and I'm just going to run those onto my lower lash line. To bronze and sculpt my face, I of course will be using the middle shade from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. And I'm just gonna use that on this small blush brush and I'm just going to, of course, carve out and bronze my face. And I'm also gonna use this as my blush. For my highlight, I'm dipping into the Becca Jaclyn Hill Split Pans. This is in Amaretto and Prosecco Pop. And I'm just going to pick up Prosecco Pop on a MAC 286. And I'm just going to apply that to everywhere that I would apply highlight. So I'm really going to make sure to hit those cheekbones, my chin, my cupid's bow, put a little bit on my nose and just a tiny bit on my forehead just to give my face an all over glow. I normally do highlight my inner corners with whatever highlight I use on my face, but because Prosecco Pop is such a yellow gold, I wanted to use more of a pale gold, so I'm going to use a Primavera from the Modern Renaissance palette. 
For my lips, I went ahead and I lined them with this NYX lip liner in the shade Rose Brown. And over top, I'm going to apply this ColourPop Ultra Matte Liquid Lip, and this is in the shade Beeper. Alright you guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, and comment some future video suggestions down below. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.